Ole Miss has hired Alabama defensive coordinator Pete Golding uh, to the same position. He is going to be the D.C. at Ole Miss. And while there are Alabama fans and critics uh, that believe that Pete Golding was an issue for the Tide, it, it can be said that it would still be a step up for Ole Miss. Now, when you look at just raw defensive numbers, Pete Golding did an incredible job the past two years, right? Just overall EPA, overall uh, total yardage, yards per play. That kind of, They were number four. Alabama was number four in yards per play defense in 2022. The issue that Alabama fans had was when Auburn, in their one-dimensional offense, still runs for over 300 yards against the defense. When Tennessee, uh, you've got somebody like Jalen Hyatt that just continually gets behind the defense. That's the issues that they had. It didn't feel like there were a lot of adjustments being made, but it's hard to blame that on Golding because everybody knows that the scheme is Nick Saban. If Saban saw an issue, he was going to make a change. So I think that Ole Miss has made a step in the right direction with this because Pete Golding is also an incredible recruiter. He understands talent. He knows what it means to go and get talent. So this will be a good gig for him. I fully believe that. And I I think it's actually less pressure than what he was facing in Tuscaloosa because the cries for him, especially after that Tennessee game, were brutal. Absolutely brutal. On the other side, Alabama. Now ride down the, uh, the time here. Alabama hired in Southern Miss defensive coordinator Austin Armstrong as, I believe, a linebacker's coach. He's going to replace uh, Charles Kelly's spot there. Um, I think this is a good move for Alabama. Uh, Again, with Pete Golding, I don't believe that the defensive uh, failings at certain points this season and basically throughout his entire tenure are all his fault, right? The game is skewed towards offense nowadays. That's just the way that it goes. Like, you're going to have teams that put up points. They're going to find mismatches even on the best and the most talented defenses. That's just the way. You look at Georgia's defense this year. Their defense was absolutely lights out, and a team like Ohio State was still able to put up 41 points on them in the Peach Bowl. There are mismatches that you can take advantage of, and good offensive minds will find ways to put up points against. So we can't fully blame Pete Golding. On the other hand, Golding's been there for a while. It was likely time for a move. What does Alabama do now? So you bring in the Southern Miss defense coordinator, uh, but he's going to be a position coach. Who is going to be the new DC? And we'll worry about the the OC whenever Bill O'Brien ends up moving on, because I, I fully believe that that's going to happen. Nick Saban, first off, the reason why Pete Golding took the, and this is my opinion, the reason why Pete Golding went to Ole Miss, I think Lane Kiffin did Nick Saban a favor by taking somebody that Saban may not have wanted still on the staff, but Saban doesn't like to fire people now. He just moves them to other positions, other, you know, coaching locations. Uh, You can look at any number of things. Just look and see when the last time an assistant coach was actually fired at Alabama. That's, it's it's going to be a while uh, before you actually find that. So uh, he, you know, I think that Saban talked to Kiffin and yeah, there's reports that Pete Golding turned down a raise to stay at Alabama. Uh, but I think the fact of the matter is that Saban and Kiffin are friendly and Kiffin wants the Alabama job. Bottom line, like Kiffin could have been the Auburn coach this year if he wanted to be. And he knew that if he takes the Auburn job, he will not get the Alabama job, period. So again, what does Alabama do with their defense coordinator position? And I put up a list, uh, and I don't think I pulled it up, but regardless, uh, I put up a list of people that I would reach out to if I were Alabama, right? And my thought process behind this was new guys, new coaches, you know, more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like guys that uh, would come in and basically be like Pete Golding. That was at least my my thought process. Here we go. Um, there was a lot of smoke around Glenn Schumann early, the Georgia co-defense coordinator who was the play caller this year. Of course, they've still got Will Muschamp over there. Marshall defense coordinator Lance Guidry, NC State defense coordinator Tony Gibson, uh, Toledo DC Vince Karras. I put Southern Miss DC Austin Armstrong on there. Uh, Wisconsin DC Mike Trussell, uh, who used to be at Cincy. He moved along with um, Luke Fickle. And then Jim Leonard. Now, Leonard would still be a good get. Guidry, I don't think, is going to make the move. And if he thought that there was a chance that he could get Alabama, I don't think that he would have done too late right now. Schumann, I think, still is a a possibility because he graduated from the University of Alabama. He was a GA at Alabama and an off-field coach uh, all the way through 2015. He was Kirby Smart's first hire at Georgia. He's the first person that he took with him over to Georgia. So that is a possibility. Um, I put that there's no way that Pruitt happened. And I'm beginning to think that I might be wrong about that. If you are Nick Saban, you know, Saban is what, 71 years old? Do you really want to break in a new coach that you have to teach the system to all over again? Now, Schumann already knows the 
the system. He already knows everything that there is to know. Do you want to bring in somebody else that that has not worked for you before when you're trying to win another title before you eventually retire? Like, it, he understands that his time at Saban understands that his time is limited. And now, from everything that I'm hearing, it appears that there is a push to bring Jeremy Pruitt back in. I, I would be beyond shocked if it ends up happening. I really would. Because all the NCAA stuff with, with Pruitt, like, we're going to find out middle of spring I guess, sometime around there, what the actual uh, penalties, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, what the penalties will be for the recruiting violations, et cetera, at Tennessee under Pruitt. He could end up with a show cause. Do you want to be going through this again? You know, I, I think the the most realistic thing that we're looking at is probably Alabama paying a lot of money to Glenn Schumann to come in and run the defense and Jeremy Pruitt being an analyst. That's just a guess because I would imagine that Schumann if he is successful at Alabama as well, he will get a head coaching offer very, very soon. Just a guess, because he is rapidly rising the rank. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.